Well, with the race for Virginia governor heating up, the entire country was treated to an early Christmas present with the return of America's original bitter partisan in chief, Barack Obama. That's what I do. That's what I do. Stumping for former DNC chairman Terry McAuliffe, the former president turned heads with this remark. We don't have time to be wasting on these phony, trumped up culture wars. This fake outrage that, that right wing media is peddles to juice their ratings. First of all, trumped up culture wars is a very interesting way to refer to the rape of a young girl and the attempted cover up by the state's largest school district. This isn't about juiced ratings, Mr. Obama. It's about justice for a child. And speaking of that young girl, I wonder how she and her family feel hearing you dismiss the violence as fake outrage. Seems just a tad heartless, but hey, that's politics, right, Mr. O? Hey, well, uh, we're gonna know. Secondly, please tell me that the guy who built his entire political existence off of smearing cops... The Cambridge police uh, acted stupidly drumming up racial tension you know if i had a son he'd look like trayvon accusing republicans of waging a war on women this is what a feminist looks like and lgbt pandering to raise campaign funds i think same-sex couples should be able to get married in the three days after mr obama announced his shift in thinking the campaign raised almost nine million dollars in donations tell me that guy isn't whining about the culture wars truth is you won't find bigger culture warriors than on the left they're the ones who are pushing their social agenda in classrooms in bathrooms and even in comic books tell me who is the culture warrior is it the progressive that feels the need to transition Superman into a pansexual who cries and protests with AOC at the U.S.-Mexico border? Or is it the conservative that sits there and says, that's dumb? From sex to gender, guns to life, it has been progressive revolutionaries who have been attacking society's conventions and standards and mores for years. Don't believe me? In California right now, Crime is spiraling out of control. The supply lines of commerce are hopelessly clogged. Water restrictions are being imposed. COVID policies have strangled the business climate. And the state is plagued with defecation in city streets, a crippling tax burden, a burgeoning debt, and worker burnout. All of these are issues that are begging for leadership. But what is progressive Governor Gavin Newsom doing with his time? Large stores in California will now be required to create a section for gender-neutral children's toys. So please, Mr. Obama, as much as we all have missed those agitated school marm lectures that you perfected for eight years, do us all a favor and just dial down your own fake outrage over a culture war that you provoked, you stoked, and that remains your only real professional legacy.